Hello Aries and welcome now to Tuesday. Well I got some interesting news. It's gonna be a funky couple of days. On the one hand, the moon is now in Leo, which is a high drama time anyways. Every time the moon's in Leo, the planet gets a little more dramatic than usual. But this is not just a moon in Leo, this is a full moon in Leo, which is a full moon investment in your inner child. And if you've been around Soul Garden long enough, you know full moons kind of make you crazy because what's really going on is the Earth is caught up in a tug of war between the sun and the moon which means two parts of our lives are pulling on us in a full moon, which is my theory why ER rooms get crazy and things like that. The point is to pull apart something, and what's always interesting is it's usually in the first chapter of a sun transit. So it's the universe going, you got a problem with this, okay? Now yesterday we talked about what sun and Aquarius really meant for Aries is, and that really is a whole month of kind of re-examining your politics. So don't be too surprised if in the next couple of days, with your heart focused on your inner celebrity and inner child, and your mind or your soul's consciousness focused on your reputation, there may be a bit of a tug of war between your friends and your reputation, the needs of your reputation. Sometimes we are working our butts off to live up to what we've said we would do. And what your heart wants. Your heart wants something else. Your inner child may want something else, or what your inner child wants and what your soul wants in society may be at odds. That is an opposition, and the point of an opposition always is to find balance and harmony against the two weights, right? Kind of in a Libra way. So you're going to find that maybe part of your inner child was being an inner child, and you'll also find, I think, in most cases that your approach to society or the expectations you've signed yourself up for with society, probably society is the spectrum where you're really off the mark. I know that because with the sun and only chapter one of Sun and Aquarius, you haven't given this part of your life any thought for a full year now. Either way, it's sunny, it's childlike, it's fun, and if you're in your heart, you're certainly going to be romantic, and this is a good time for you to go play. All right, Aries, that's all I have for Tuesday. I'll see you tomorrow with more. Live, love, be. So good. Yeah.